Hello? USCIS? Oh, it's a bot. They have me with a bot. Yes. Yes. I'd like a person, please. Person, please? No, I don't want... No, I know it's online. No, I, I know I can get help online. No. Person, please? They cut me off. USCIS cut me off. Do you want to figure out how to call USCIS and not have them cut you off and continually kick you to another robot? If you do, stay tuned. Welcome to Law Great, the channel where I give you reliable information to help you make better decisions and avoid costly mistakes on your immigration journey. My name is Damian Noble, and I am the managing attorney at Frontier Tech Law with offices here in New Haven, Connecticut. This is video three of the streak, whereby we are posting Monday through Friday, and we're gonna see how long we can keep that up. InfoPass and the USCIS uh, phone line used to be amazing. You could call USCIS, you'd be put in touch with a live agent, you'd give them your uh, receipt number. Uh, they'd tell you what was up with the case and things, if things were really bad, they would escalate you to, uh, you know, a secondary agent. Uh, likewise, you can make an info pass appointment, go in, talk with agents, talk with officers, and get a kind of in-person perspective on, on what was happening or not. You can get an emergency green card. You could do all sorts of things. And as an attorney, I would use one info pass appointment to bring multiple cases and, and talk them through with an officer. During the Trump administration, somewhere around 2019, uh, that all changed. Well, 2018, it all changed. But 2019, it became even worse um, as um, the phone system itself started to become automated. It was said this was for uh, the benefit of, of us. Uh, but by 2020, it became almost impossible to contact an agent. And we kind of had to reverse engineer the system to figure out how to actually get through to an agent. And these questions come up all the time. So how do you do it? I'm going to do it live right here. Okay. So uh, let me zoom out of here. This is the USCIS contact center page. Okay. Uh, and it says, Hey, you got an online account and we covered that, you know, in video one of the streak, you have information, right? And uh, you have this little thing here, Emma. Okay. Who is Emma? You might ask. Emma is our virtual assistant. Emma could answer questions based on your own words. You don't need to know government speak. She also knows common search terms. She can provide immediate responses. She can guide you through their website. She can find information based on the questions and search terms you use. Emma, she's easy to chat with. Chatting with Emma is easy. Here she is, right here in the corner. Hi, I'm Emma. I'm programmed how to chat with Emma. You can talk to her, okay? All right, so Emma comes in that form, but she also comes with this form, okay? So let's call this number, okay? I'm gonna put it on speakerphone and we're gonna see how Emma works on the phone and, and if there's any way to get around it, okay? So let's, let's call her. Okay, so let's see what we hear. Thank you for calling U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services You're so or USCIS. Yes, USCIS. I will stay with English. We'll stay with English To today. ensure a high quality of service, we record our calls. Fantastic. At any time during this call, say, Privacy Notice to listen to our Privacy Act Notice. I can understand complete sentences. So tell me, how can I help you? This is Emma. Um, Emma, I am um, having trouble locating my case. Hmm, she's working, she's typing. Hold on for just a moment. Oh, I'll hold on. I always hold on. I can help you with your case status. Thank you. Before I can give you your case status, I will need your receipt number. Are you ready to give me your receipt number now? No, not right now. I'd like to talk to an agent. This system can help you with many things, mm. and our website does even more. If you work with me, you can get the help you need with no wait. Before I can give you your case status, I will need your receipt number. Are you ready to give me your receipt number now? But it, it's not that. It's just that I have this complicated thing, and it's not about my case status, but I feel like my papers have been lost. Can you help me with that? 
She's typing. Hmm. If your citizenship documentation is lost, stolen, or mutilated, you can get it replaced by submitting form N-565. Hmm. If you would like to receive a link to our website with this information, just let me know if you'd prefer an email or a text. Why is my processing time so slow is what I'm trying to get at. Do you think I can talk to a, a live agent? Operator? That usually works, right? Operator? Can I talk to a live agent? Operator? They're typing a lot. Have you checked your status online in the past two days? Yes, I have. Processing times are different depending on application type and where you are in the process. Okay. So we can end it right there. Um, there's no none of the usual words work. Live agent, operator, anything. It's just this maddening loop when you have a complicated question where it just pushes you back into its own system and kind of randomly guesses at what you need. Now, given if I had a receipt number, what would have happened? If I had a receipt number, it would have simply told me what my status was uh, based on whatever the USCIS status checker says. But that's not what we call USCIS. We call them for complicated issues. Hey, I didn't get my EAD card. Hey, my naturalization request for evidence response hasn't been responded to in months. Like I need to talk to somebody. So what do we do? All right, so let's try that again. And I'll show you the magic words. There are several. Thank you for calling U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services, or USCIS. You're welcome. Pa español, oprima el número dos. Not this time. Not this time. To ensure a high quality of service, we record our calls. At any time during this call, say, Privacy Notice, to listen to our Privacy Act Notice. I can understand complete sentences. So tell me, how can I help you? Info pass. We can help you schedule your appointment. Federal law prohibits weapons like firearms, knives, pepper spray, and ammunition at any USCIS facility. Even if you have a permit for a firearm, you cannot bring it to a USCIS building. To speak to the USCIS, you must be the applicant, the petitioner, or the authorized G28 representative, or you must have the applicant present. One moment while I connect you to an information specialist. Did you hear that? One moment until I connect you to an information specialist. That's how you do it. So that's info pass is one. Okay. Um, there are other words, but that's, you know, some of them are special lawyer words and I don't want to make the legal community angry, but info pass, that's the big one. So if you can't get through, just wait for it and say info pass. Thanks so much for watching. If you found this helpful, subscribe, tell others, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.